Green Ghana, Green Day. Green Ghana, Green Day. Green Ghana, Green Day. Green Ghana, Green Day. Let's go planting, planting all. Save the trees, we are saving all. Yeah, my chef for you now, Kwaba, Edoba, Amazing TV. Yes, and then, you go to PM, you go to Bema Camp. Now, Bema Camp, you will be saying, then, you go to, and then, and I, yeah, the initiative, you have some friend, Green Plan D, and I, this initiative, and then, you go to, now, I'm going to be in Anka Sanka, and I'm going to go down to Kufado, and the Minister for Land and Natural Resource, and you should be PM, and you should be PM, and you should be PM, and you I did this initiative. I'm going to say three years ago. I'm going to say that green plan day. I say, ha. And then, the president of Ghana, it will be PIM. It will be my camp. But then, so I just say, it will be due to you. No one can say present. It will be due to you. It will be due to you. It is okay. Your forest reserve, no. It will be say, forest reserve, no. It will be say, Galamsi, it will be say, in Dwebe Brina, it will say, as you say, I will try, I will try South Sudan. It will be say, I will cross South Sudan. A school down crab are quite much as okay. Heat a walk south Sudan, so when to me cruise south school diner, a young collar horn and genia near the tormono, and yen to me to me cruise, but another I drink chair or the bar only nights as okay. This year no, or every pim of Bema camp, or shall Bema camp on India or home, for myself could gen drain your Bema camp account pa, a air honorable after dinner pot, so next some more do two giants okay. Military furniture and a ball send a woman drain your choir, nay India, air five million. E wo bema kam bon tiyan su minyan enye ze. Ende de. Nan adu wanka sa si foum. E ko fa a so. En se kan. Anan kasa koti tu foum. E ko duye duya. O vi wo san du nso go so. A wa chel so ok. Des inisiyetif. Nan nou e fi a se. A so nou man peni kwa. A se mou kenane de. E vse gana fou yina. E so e de omu jidi e be tane chi. Na des green plan de ya. Oma yi je. A oma yi ya. Omos 3 years ya. Omu fi des inisiyetif yi. Omu fi a se. Yen ko. Nyan kwa shwe hawa na nado. Dan kwe kufwa do. Orive ye. A military for nan kasa. Ede enyom. Ede jene tata. E wo bema kampu mbon tiyan so. A bro wye odeni speech sa tu dwa. E kwa kwa tiyeni na. Newe kwa subiya. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and share. When I drop any new video. Be the part of the family. I say thank you.
mandate that you gave man from the beginning. We pray, O oh God, that your presence will be with us, that through this lunch, even across our nation, your grace will abound, and that this virtue will be implanted in our spirit, man, and find expression in our conduct. Father, we pray, lifting before you, your servant, His Excellency, our President and Commander-in-Chief, we pray, O oh God, that your blessings will abound in his life, that his vision for our nation will find expression in a accelerated sustainable growth of our nation. And all things, O oh God, 
will be done for the glory of your name. May your presence be with us. Bless every one of us and bless our homeland, Ghana. Make our nation great and strong. We bless you for answered prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome you, the President of our Republic and the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. It is particularly appropriate I also make welcome in our midst this morning, Ghana's faithful steward of our lands and natural resources, the Minister, the Honorable Samuel Abu Jinapo, MP. We make welcome Ghana's Minister for Defense, the Honorable Dominic Nitiwul, MP. The Greater Accra Regional Minister, the Honorable Titus Glover. The Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, the Honorable Stephen Asamoah Bwate. The Deputy Ministers of Lands and Natural Resources, the Honorable George Merkuduka MP and the Honorable Akwesi Kunedu MP. Please, a round of applause for them. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, the Honorable Kweku Amprechu Sapong. The former Deputy Minister and Chair of the National Green Ghana Planting Committee, the Honorable Benito Owusubio MP. We make welcome the CEO of the Forestry Commission Ghana, Mr. John Aloti. With exceeding joy, we receive in our midst the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Thomas Opong Pibra. In his company, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal Frederick Bequin. The Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Isa Yakubu. The Chief of. Minister for Defense and Member of Parliament for Bimbila, 
the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, and Member of Parliament for Damango, Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, the Deputy Minister for the Interior, and Member of Parliament for Gumwa Central, the Deputy Minister for Information, a Member of Parliament for Botiano English Amalfo, Chairperson of the Green Ghana Planning Committee, Chairperson and Members of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Lands and Forestry, and other Members of Parliament, the Chief of Defence Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, and other Service Chiefs. Representative of the Inspector General of Police, Chairperson, Chairperson of the Lands Commission, Chairperson and members of the Board of the Forestry Commission, Chief Executive of the Forestry Commission, Heads of Public Agencies, Senior Officers of the Ghana Armed Forces, Men, Women, and Civilian Employees of the Ghana Armed Forces, Fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, today our world stands at a critical juncture, grappling with the triple planetary crisis of climate change, pollution, and biodiversity loss. These issues are being exacerbated even further by deforestation desertification, and land and soil degradation. Amongst these, climate change remains the most urgent, posing a grave threat to our world and the lives and livelihoods of our people. Earlier this year, South Sudan was forced to close its schools due to extreme heat waves. There are fears that the Horn of Africa may become uninhabitable in the coming years due to these severe weather conditions. The impact of the other crisis is equally alarming. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, air pollution is responsible for some 6.7 million deaths annually with nine out of 10 people worldwide breathing air that contains pollutants above the WHO's recommended levels. Similarly, the loss of biodiversity poses a significant threat to our planet with the decline and extinction of animals, plants, and ecosystems, leading to disasters, diseases, and deaths. However, science tells us that forests play a critical role in sustaining life on Earth and addressing these triple planetary crises. Here in Ghana, for example, activities related to agriculture, forests, and land use contribute some 50% of our national greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, preserving our forests and adopting sustainable agriculture and land use practices have a high potential to combat climate change through carbon sequestration. As whole to 80% of terrestrial biodiversity, forests play a vital role in conserving biodiversity and combating pollution. Beyond their environmental benefits, forests are essential natural resources for our socio-economic development, especially in developing countries like ours, providing livelihoods for the majority of our population. Regrettably, the world's forests continue to be under severe threat with the loss of tropical primary forests in 2023 alone, totaling 3.7 million hectares. This, 
has serious implications for food security, sustainable communities, and national development. We must work together to change this narrative. Although we Africans are amongst the least contributors to the climate crisis, our continent of Africa suffers the most from its adverse consequences. We in Ghana are thus committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 64 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent by 2030 and enhancing our resilience and adaptation to climate change in accordance with our enhanced nationally determined contributions. As part of measures to achieve this goal, at the 28th session of the Conference of Parties, COP28, of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, held in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates last year, we launched the Resilient Ghana Country Package. This initiative aims to advance nature-based industrialization and sustainable rural development, build an inclusive green country economy with future-fit green jobs and nature-based alternative livelihoods, and scale up our climate ambition. This momentous country package will be complemented by several other programs being implemented in the forestry sector, including the ambitious Green Ghana project. The objectives of this project align with our commitment under the United Nations Decade on Ecosystem Restoration 2021-2023 20, to prevent, halt, and reverse the de degradation of ecosystems and raise awareness of the importance of successful ecosystem restoration. In the last three years, with your unwavering support, we have planted some 42 million trees, most of which are thriving. Today, we have the opportunity to add at least an additional 10 million trees, bringing our total to 52 million trees in just four years. This, this is an incredible achievement. Once again, I thank you, my fellow Ghanaians, and everyone who has contributed to the success of this program. With the same support and commitment, I am confident that we will exceed our target of 10 million trees. And like the Minister for Natural Lands and Natural Resources, the dynamic, resourceful, Honorable Abuchi Napo, Member of Parliament for Damango, I thank the Ghana Armed Forces under its redoubtable leader, Lieutenant General Thomas Opon Pepra. Chief of Defense Staff for their invaluable contribution to achieving the success of this program. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, officers and men of the, and women of the Ghana Armed Forces, the theme for this fourth edition of Green Ghana Day, growing for a greener tomorrow, must inspire all of us to participate in this national tree planting exercise. It captures the essence of our collective aspiration to nurture our environment for the benefit of future generations. It is a clarion call for us to leave a greener, better, and more prosperous world. This requires decisive action towards building a more resilient ecosystem and a healthy planet. So wherever you are today, from Axim to Zebila, and from Aflao to Tuhu, to Tuhu, whether you are a farmer, teacher, doctor, nurse, lawyer, politician, artisan, 
worker or student. Grab a seedling, plant it, and nurture it to maturity. I cannot overemphasize the importance of nurturing the trees we plant today. Every seedling we put in the ground is a step towards a sustainable future. But that goal cannot be achieved if we fail to care for the seedlings. We cannot provide the green tomorrow we desire if the seedlings do not grow to maturity. This tree planting exercise must not end today. It must continue until the trees can stand on their own and contribute to the sustainable future we aspire to. In addition to ensuring the growth of the trees planted, we must integrate sustainable practices into our daily lives. It is the little things we do daily that will guarantee the future we want. Through these efforts, we can restore the fundamentals required to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. I want to emphasize the need to execute this noble venture without burdening the public treasury unduly. I therefore call on the private sector, the Ghanaian private sector, to embrace this worthy project and commend resources to make it a success. Let me commend the Minister for, Min for Lands and Lands. When we inculcate in our young, in our young ones, the necessity of planting trees, protecting our ecosystem, and safeguarding the natural environment. Fellow Ghanaians, the Green Ghana Project is crucial to develop, to delivering on our commitments, both nationally and internationally, to leave a greener and sustainable world for our children. A lot has been done in the past three years. Let us come together and sustain the gains we have made. This is a duty. We are not only to the current generation, but also to generations yet to come. We must do it with a spirit of nationalism, solidarity, and most importantly, love for ourselves, our country, and our planet. Let us go out not only to plant trees, but also to grow them for a green tomorrow. May God bless us all in our homeland, God, and make us great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Commission, Mr. Alex Quino, please make him welcome with a round of applause. Thank you. And so shortly we get to plant all these trees in a bit to promote a greener and healthier Ghana. By saying thank you on behalf of the Green Ghana Project and all her members, please make welcome the CEO of the Forestry Commission, John Alote. We are grateful to the Almighty God for seeing us through the ceremonial event of the 2024 edition of the Green Ghana Day. 
I wish to express my deepest gratitude to you, Mr. President, for graciously attending each and every Great Ghana Day since its inception in 2021. Mr. President, your leadership has elevated our collective efforts to protect... I invite all ministers and deputies to please join. All ministers and deputies. The third will be with the Green Ghana Planning and Organizing Committee. of the Forestry Commission. Remain seated and view the planting on the screens. Stay protocol. Thank you.